replacing valve cover gaskets on a 2001 Saturn. Every time I get a new car, I get a manual for it so that I can have the right torque specs for that particular car. Alright, so we did a head job on this and when we went to go put it on the valve covers, we didn't torque them because we didn't really have a torque wrench from it lasted about six months and then started to leak really badly. If you can come in here, you can kind of see that around the bolts and stuff are all leaking. The thing that you're going to need doing this project is of course a torque wrench. And a star to a socket. You're also going to need a star wrench. Here's the valve cover on this side and then the other valve cover is kind of tucked in here. So, so we're going to have to take off the intake manifold and some gas lines as well. These bolts here, they look weird, but they work with any common socket, so. Let's disconnect the battery and get started. Put all these bolts back in here so don't forget where they go. All right, something else you're gonna need is a gas line remover. Shield out, it's a little bit tricky. Um, I noticed um, you kind of have to bend some stuff around to get the shield out. Because uh, back here, if you try to take this, this has a pipe hooks up to it that goes down and back. But there's a hose that hooks up to this, a metal hose, and a pipe, sorry, and a bolt if you want to take that off and pull it off. However, I found that that's really tricky and hard to hard to get off when we, when we were taking this off the last time. And the way we did it was we took the shield out with two bolts and we basically took it off this end of it and pulled it out. After I got the shield out, I'm gonna take this off so I can get this out. And then later on down the road, I'll have to take the other end out. If you accidentally break one of these pieces that's on there, you can easily just get a pipe connector and just, uh, this one is the length of two. So I'm gonna have to cut this one in half and just move this down over the top of that. I'm just gonna get a work on. right here this is the valve cover gasket that's right in between the valve cover and the engine and you have here you can see around the, there you have oil up here see how you have pools of oil in these it usually needs to kind of come off this shield right here because it guards the the bolts that go to all the oh you know what this could be part of the problem this bolts loose this bolts loose <laughs> Well, that's why we're leaking. All these bolts are just finger loose. Um, I mean, this, the only thing you have to take off of this thing here after you just hook it from the main air manifold is there is back here, there's a pipe that you just need out from this thing. And two hoses over here that hook up to this pipe here. Need to be undone. back one first and then the front one. We're gonna replace them. Comes with the uh, valve cover gaskets is these little gaskets right here. You can just take a little flex for and just tie up on them, pull them out. We're just making sure we're just cleaning off old old stuff here. You wanna take the New gasket. You want to just grease it. Just needs to. Doesn't need to sa saturate it in it, but it does need to be a little bit of oil. We just slide in. 
grab your new gaskets here. Position like that. Tops up here, and these side to side ones as well. I'm gonna have to probably get a razor blade and scrape off some of the old excess one that was on here. And I've also got to clean out the spark plugs that help each are full of oil. I'm using a rag and I'm just sticking it down here in this, these uh, spark plugs just to get all the oil that's spilt into the spark plugs. Because when the gaskets leak, they spill oil into the actual spark plugs. So if you're going to take any of the spark plugs off, make sure there's no oil around them. And they need to be cleaned anyway because they need a good electrical connection in there. If you want to use is a gasket sealant, apply it here. And here is one another place that applies some. This place over here. And in here you want to apply some. Within about five minutes, you're going to want to get this all on. So the place you need to put it is right here, 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 and here. Four places. Each of the points where the arches come over and end. And throw this on here. Just like that. You need a torque wrench that does inch pounds. Foot pounds is okay, you can just have to convert them over to inch pounds. And the inch pounds is 71. So the book will tell you the pattern on how the bolt should be tightened down. We won't be replacing this side because there's also no leak on this either. And it's all been sealed up right and everything, so no sense to replace this it. This is basically just the reverse of how you took everything out, you just put everything back in. So now we'll just start putting everything back in there. 